Welcome to, I don't know why I keep doing this now. I feel like I want to start videos dramatically for whatever reason. I really don't need to do that. <laughs> Hi, I'm Lizelle. I'm a young adult author. Uh, my book comes out next year. It's called Blood Like Magic and welcome to my world building vlog. I still did it again. I hate myself. Anyway, <laughs> So I need to do world building. So uh, for NaNoWriMo, you can check out my video where I talk about like deciding on my NaNoWriMo project. Um, so what was I going to say? Yes, so <laughs> I'm doing a world building plotting vlog and I'm pretty sure it's going to be one day long, perhaps two days long, but like maybe just one day long. And that, there are reasons for this. So I recently got um, my proof pages for my debut and I need to get those done before the 28th. And so I was like, okay, so I'll use the rest of this week to plot. I just finished up plotting um, all the like actual plot beats. I also have that video over here. And so now I just got to plot out the world building. And this is my first time plotting out world building. But also I need to finish it today or tomorrow so that next week I can work on doing my proof pages because I need to get those done. So that is why this is going to be a weird one or two day. The day is already... <laughs> so here's what, here's what I did today already. Uh, I woke up, I washed my hair. So my hair is like super nice. And then I went to the grocery store. I recently joined uh, Beachbody and they have like a program. So I was like, I gotta get stuff to like eat healthy. So then I like rushed out to the grocery store and I bought all these groceries. I also went there because I was trying to find neem oil because I have my plants have like a mealy bug problem. And this is like a natural oil that you could spray them with versus using like an insecticide. And then because I live in a small town, of course nobody had it. <laughs> and so, I came home and then I like used rubbing alcohol to like burn off the little bugs that I could see which actually wasn't that much it's actually gotten much better so then I did that and then I filmed two videos which I'm sure you'll realize because I'm wearing the exact same shirt and I didn't get to change because my dog was being a little brat and so I finally got her to like lay down under my desk and so I couldn't leave the room be to change and like do a different shirt and like maintain the illusion because <laughs> if I get up and I leave the room she'll get up and she'll leave the room with me and then it'll be a whole other thing to try and get her to sit back down. Where is this leading? Yes, what have I done for today? So I did that. I also drank so much water. <laughs> advice I mean so much water for me so I already drank like a liter of water so like 32 ounces of water and now I've drank like another half a liter I'm supposed to drink three liters of water a day apparently so um yeah so I did all of that and <laughs> now I'm here so it's like what is it it's like three o'clock and I have not done any writing work whatsoever so yeah at some point, I need to get this world building done. So yeah, that's gonna be this vlog. Uh, it might be one day, seeming like it might be two days at this point because I wasted so much. Well, I didn't waste so much of today. I just like had other shit going on. Anyway, so that's the goal. My plan for doing the world building is I'm going to um, read, I'm gonna go back through my notes on a craft book I read called On Writing and World Building Volume One by Timothy Hickson. Um, I will link that below. I've also done a whole video review over here about the book. And so I wanna go back to my notes in that book so that I can see how I can use those to kind of structure my world building. Um, even though this is a sci-fi, it's a light sci-fi, it's not a hard sci-fi. And so I don't think I'm gonna be ending up like having to make notes on like a ton of stuff that I have to explain, but I do need to make notes on some stuff that I need to explain. Uh, yeah, so this is my first time plotting world building. Usually I just like do it on the fly and then I regret it later because I have so many questions that readers ask me and I'm like, I don't know because these aren't things I've thought about and it just like creates so many issues for me later. 
I've had that happen with my debut. I've had that happen with my horror I worked on. Um, it's just like, and like all other books that I've written, I've always had that issue. And so I was like, I'm gonna plot my world building so I don't have this issue anymore. So that's why I'm doing this. So don't you get out of that bed. Good girl. So yeah, that's what this vlog's gonna be. <laughs> yesterday <laughs> I did very very little basically what I did is I exported all my notes from on writing and world building volume one and just like the stuff about empires and then I like wrote down some questions that may come up about the world um, and that's pretty much all I did <laughs> I was working on some videos and like getting those up and like subtitled and optimized for social and etc 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 so that I didn't do any of that <laughs> didn't do that much at all so I got to do everything today because tomorrow I got to start working on my past pages and I can't do any of this anymore so uh what did I end up doing what did I end up doing right so today <laughs> the plans for today so uh, I started looking through the notes on empires, but it's just like, it's not working because it's just so complicated for what I'm doing. Like it's not really, the world isn't really an empire per se. It's just like, yeah, it's, I don't know. It's not even like the future per se. It's more, I guess, like an alternate world. But anyway, it's just like too heavy for it. I think the thing about on writing and world building is I think there are things that you can apply to both fantasy and sci-fi, but it really is a lot more fantasy heavy and relevant or relevant if you're doing like a very hard sci-fi. Like if I was doing a hard sci-fi, I would have an empire and all the empire stuff would be really relevant to me, but I'm doing like a much lighter sci-fi. So this, a lot of this isn't gonna be relevant to readers anyway. I think naturally people will have questions about some things, but what I'm starting to learn with like writing things with like softer magic systems or softer sci-fi systems is that everybody you don't need to have every single question answered because it's not the focus and it's not really relevant. It's not like with my debut where I really had to explain all of the magic things um, because it was very firmly an urban fantasy and so I needed hard magic systems. Um, but like here I have soft magic systems, I'm doing a light sci-fi, it's really unnecessary to have so much explanation. So. What I've done is I found Ellen Brock's uh, world building Bible template and I just pulled that up. Obviously, I'm not going to go through every single thing, but I'm going to go through each of the categories and like write a little paragraph basically about how it works in this world um, and kind of go for that. And then like the questions that I think need to be answered, I'm going to answer those about world building and I'm going to do like a little blurb basically about like, yeah. I think that's just all I'm gonna do and I'm gonna leave it there and I think that will be enough planning so that's what I'm gonna go with um but yeah so today uh yeah I'm gonna work on that I gotta make some lunch slash breakfast it's 11 30 <laughs> so it's technically lunch but I didn't have breakfast because I was sleeping so I'm gonna do that and then I gotta like prep some vegetables. I'm gonna um, food process a bunch of cauliflower 
to get, make like cauliflower rice so I'm gonna do that and then yeah that's gonna be pretty much it so now it now it is basically world building in a day because I have to get it done today so yes that is the plan and here we go So this is possibly the fastest vlog, slash <laughs> probably the shortest vlog I've ever done, but I did finish doing my world building. I'm going to talk about the process of doing that and like some of the cool stuff I think I've kind of learned as doing this process like properly for the first time ever so i finished my world building um as i talked about in my last clip i didn't end up being able to use the on writing and world building book for it it just like wasn't suitable so i ended up finding ellen brock's uh, world building bible setup so i essentially listed out all of the terms she has a bunch of like prompt things that are, are underneath all the little world building sections so like the natural world it'll talk about like landmarks and all that stuff i didn't end up doing that like using that stuff it was just like too nitty-gritty for me so what i did was i listed out all the categories and i essentially went through and made bullet point notes on all of the different things so like i'm looking at my screen so like under travel, I just made a bunch of bullet point notes about everything I could think of how travel would work in this world and the same thing with things like politics and law and all of that. And I just like made huge bullet point lists. It's uh, how many words? It's almost 2000 words of like world building notes. And it actually worked out really well. I think in the past, I haven't thought of these things beforehand. I haven't thought of them at all. I've just thought of them on the spot. And I think the benefit to me of doing this in advance and doing all this work first is that it really prompted me to really think a lot about the world and how the characters are existing in this world. So for example, I actually got an idea for a backstory for one character because I had explored in bullet point note what family life would be like in these buildings and what that would be like um, and if you would have access to different sorts of housing or not and so it actually helped me think of the motivation for why one character is trying so hard to kind of do well in their position in their internship because for example like the way housing works is they might be stuck with their family and maybe she really really doesn't want to be stuck with her family and so she needs to get this position because getting this position gives you access to more housing and so she could potentially move out on her own and not be stuck with her family if she had access to this and so that's like a part of the world that is really affecting the character in a real way and I think that's something that I kind of miss out on a little bit when I do my world building so on the fly, when I pants it instead of when I've thought about it beforehand. Because I'm calling it plotting my world building, but I'm not really plotting it. I'm just making note of all the things in my world and thinking about how that can affect the characters. And that was really cool. There was like, I figured out a plot hole because I have this whole thing with like phones. And then I was like, well, how would people use phones in my world and how would that work? And that ended up kind of shifting how I'm gonna do that plotting thing because I've essentially done something in my plotting that's not possible in the world that I've built and so that would be very different and it's kind of added an interesting layer to how that world is. Um, my main character like when it starts out kind of her shard of glass is that she's kind of been screwed over academically by other people into um, getting this position she ends up being able to get the position anyway but she almost didn't and so that's really like scarring for her and she doesn't want that to happen again and so in thinking about the education system i had to think about how would they be able to screw her over and what would create that sort of competition that those kids would want to do that in the first place and why that would matter and that all came into the world building so 
I really think this was an awesome, awesome exercise for me. <laughs> I will definitely be making sure to do this with all of my other um, books. What I like about it too is I didn't go too nitty gritty. Like I could have been like, what clothes do like people of this class wear? And what clothes do people of this class wear? And what clothes do people? Whereas I was just like, I'm not gonna do all that. So I just wrote in like, they usually wear like sort of athleisure stuff. Um, when they work in the buildings, they wear suit and tie, like formal wear. And there are some schools that are considered elite schools and they will make people wear suits and ties and stuff to emulate working in the building and like going into a building and having to wear a suit and tie. And that was just like three, four bullet points instead of having to like get so intense with it and so that's what I really like doing because it was just so loose and I could just like make notes however I wanted to do it and just leave it at that and I thought that was really great I definitely recommend doing this because it just made me think so critically about my world and then I started to think also about the sort of society that I'm presenting and I was like oh is this like socialism or I was just like an interesting mix of like socialism and communism and then I'm like I also don't want to say anything bad about socialism I'm actually like very good on board with socialism so examining all of that I actually ended up having a whole conversation with my boyfriend about that but it just like brought up so many interesting questions about the world and I feel like I know so much more about my world going into it now that when I'm writing it'll be really easy for me to slot in all those world building elements without having to like precisely go in and put into my plot points and be like this is when we're going to mention technology and this is when we're going to mention this and this is when we're going to mention that. I'm not doing any of that. I've just filled this out and I have a constant reminder of how the society is constructed and I can refer back to it. So like if technology comes up, I can be like, this is what the technology is and I can write all of that down and so on and so forth. So it's kind of like a bit of a planter style because I haven't gone super in depth with it, but it's certainly more than I had before and it's enough for me to be able to write for NaNoWriMo and do like a coherent world. Um, so I'll put a link to uh, Ellen Brock's world building bible um, so that if any of you want to use that for your world building it's available to you. That's it for this world building plotting vlog. This is like a shorter video. I think like there's a few of my videos coming up that are like shorter and I'm like, what is this? Not a 30 to 40 minute video, who am I? But my plotting vlog, I'll put that over here, is like 30 minutes so that's definitely got the length. But overall, I'm really happy that I've plotted my world building for the first time <laughs> properly. I'm gonna definitely continue on with this system. And yeah, I definitely recommend it. I'd love to hear, please comment below how you do your world building. Do you like do some stuff in advance? Do you have a world building Bible? Do you like specifically plot your world building in whatever different way? I would love to hear about that. So comment with that. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to me already, please subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. And I guess I'll, what is this? Do I have any more NaNoWriMo videos? Probably. But but I'll see you in NaNoWriMo. <laughs> Bye!